So I created a space called Hollywood and inside of it I created two sections, discussion and Oscar events, which is the calendar section. Um, I also created two groups. One is an actors group and the other one is a director's group. Um, good, so that's the basis and that's what you see when you're not logged in. When you're logged in, you see a little bit more. Um, and one of the first things is this image gallery, which using the groups, I controlled the, who sees it. So only actors can see that. Uh, that was the piece I didn't understand before, that um, you can use groups to control who actually sees the content. Um, so that's really cool. So if we edit that and I add another group to it, say the director's group, now anybody in that group. Um, but it's interesting that... Um, so it also considers that space, because that Hollywood is a space, um, and they consider that a group. But Or you can add individual users um, who sees that content. So that kind of control is just very, um, is just very nice. So uh, the other use of groups is for notifications, so that if I create a new event, I can control who actually sees it. Um, I can send a notification to the entire group, the actors group, or individual users. Um, so when I create this event, they'll get an email about that, um, or if there's discussion or something. So that's the other use of groups. Um, Cool. So uh, modifying and working with the groups, I think um, Atrium really gives you really cool options. So it's this bottom one here. Um, so we'll bulk manage we'll, the people in this group. Um, so you can change their roles. By, so right now, no one's an administrator, but we can make them administrators. Um, suspend their membership. You can just do different level. Um, that's actually when you're in the group. When you're in the space, you can do different. So they, the space has members too. Uh, so now we're in the Hollywood space, and um, it has these members, and I'm inheriting these members because I've um, added this team, actors. 